If you're building your dream app with Bubble, one of the best things about being a Bubble app builder is the amazing plugin ecosystem. And I want to showcase to you a Gantt chart slash timeline uh, here. What's a Gantt chart, you might ask? Well, a Gantt chart is something like this, which you'll see is a cornerstone of any task management, project management app. Can you imagine just trying to build something like this using repeating groups? I mean, I think it would be on the edge of technically possible. It certainly would be difficult to get some of these features in, such as the scroll, moving it around, moving items around on it. This is just an amazing plugin if you're looking to add a Gantt chart or timelines. In fact, there's even more examples that you can add in milestones on there. There's custom templates with buttons. So you can just tell a high quality plugin on the Bubble plugin directory because there's an amazing demo page just like this one. And you can go into the editor and you can see exactly how the plugin uh, developer has created it. Let's take a quick look at that. So we scroll up to a simpler example, we can see everything that it can do, such as different events that you can track, uh, meaning you can fire off workflows based on whether actions are taking place in the plugin, uh, different actions as well. Um, if we scroll down here, you can see that it begins with quite a simple setup. You have a data type, that you, they're called tasks here. You do a search for tasks, you have a start date and end date, you can group them. And once more, something that just clearly shows that a plugin is really well thought through, developed, lots of time has gone into it is the fact that there are so many options of what you can do with it. And sometimes that can feel a bit overwhelming. So I'd recommend if you start with a plugin like this that's got so much customizability to it, uh, is that you keep going back to the example and you open it up in the editor, if we click there, and you start with the simpler examples and you just see exactly what the plugin developer has done and you can start to copy it. So for example, we can see here, if we go back to the live example, uh, which I think is gonna be the second one on the page, you know, we've got a profile image, we've got a tool tip, we've got bold text, we've got subtext on there, we've got an emoji. So how's the uh, developer gone about doing that? Well, they've added in these merge fields pulling data across. So this is the example that they're using and you can see that these are then placed into the content section down here. And so yeah, this is my process. It's always to go and check the example that the plugin developers produced for you and then see which bits you like best and start to copy it across step by step, checking the boxes, setting the colors, setting the values in the inspector panel here uh, so that you've got something that looks like the example. So if you want to check out this plugin, it is available, where is it? Here we go. It's a, the Gantt timeline chart. And if you're not aware, something that's really important to point out is that when you subscribe to a plugin like this, it's pro rata. So you can test it out for like a fraction of a dollar. As long as, yeah, if, if it's not fit for your needs, you can remove it from your account, make sure it's fully removed, uh, you've fully removed the plugin and the subscription from your bubble billing plan. And it will only cost you less than a dollar just to test it out. But I don't think you're gonna have that issue here because if you need a timeline, if you need a Gantt chart in your bubble app, then yeah, this plugin just looks amazing.